Ladies and gentlemen, the Super Chief, Vaughn Meter. Yeah. Vaughn, welcome to our show. Well, thank you very much, Andy. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, I've been looking forward all week to uh, working with Vaughn because I wanted to sit right next to the guy who has sold, well, he's had the most successful album in the history of the record business, the first family album. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. I guess between your Moon River album and my first family album, we sold about six million of them. Well, then one of us has to have sold five million, and it ain't me. <laughs> five million albums, wow. Who would you say is most responsible for the success of your album about President Kennedy? Richard Nixon. <laughs> Uh, see, now, your first, uh, your new first family album on Cadence uh, came out today, didn't it? Yes, it did, yes. Well, how does it feel to be playing the President of the United States once again? Well, it's very nice, but it's sort of typecasted me. Oh? You know, I, I, well, this I didn't mind at first. I sent the President a telegram. I said, uh, be careful. Anything you do reflects on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, how has this whole thing affected your home life? It's kind of strange, Andy. My janitor calls himself Secretary of the Interior. <laughs> My wife went out and bought four wigs, and she calls herself the Speaker of the House. <laughs> well, I can see how this could have a drastic effect on your whole life. No, no, not, not too much, Andy. Actually, the whole thing hasn't changed me, and I've uh, sold this repeatedly at all my cabinet meetings. <laughs> <laughs> it's got me, I tell you the truth, it, it has got me a little worried. I, uh, well, I received letters. Take this one, for instance, this letter I just... Can I read it? Yes, please. Dear Mr. Meter, I think impersonating a president of the United States is a shameful way to make a living and does not befit a person in the entertainment world. Signed, Raymond Massey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, doing, doing the president so much, I've, well, become concerned and interested in politics and the yeah. politicians. And with the Academy and Emmy Awards coming up, I think that politicians and statesmen should get awards, not only the people in the movie and uh, television field. Well, maybe you have a point there. Do you want to try it now? Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vaughn Meter Television Political Award. First of all, the nominations for the political songs of the year. The nominations are... President Kennedy's That Old Tax Magic... <laughs> the Dirks and Halleck Battle Hymn of the Republicans <laughs> And the AMA chorus is Nobody knows you when you're down and out <laughs> Next we have the nominations For the best political quotations of the year From Senator Brownlee Tompkins of Dakota Food is very important I eat it myself <laughs> From Senator Hastings Lansbury of Louisiana. Letter us it has. Don't prove nothing. <laughs> From Congressman Pete Menshire of the state of Washington. You people do not understand the needs of the apple grower. Some of you think that apples grow on trees. <laughs> Senator Bill Forgets of Oregon. I'm a pacifist, and I'll kill the first man that says I'm not. <laughs> And now we have three awards for the best political books of the year. Nelson Rockefeller's How to Succeed in Politics Without Anybody Really Asking You. <laughs> Barry Goldwater's There's No Time Like the Past. <laughs> and George Romney's Rocky, Please, I'd Rather Do It Myself. <laughs> Now a scene from the award-winning political show of the year, an informal interview at the White House. Yes, good evening, Annie. So good to see you here today. Good evening, uh, sir. I, uh, I would, have, uh, would have had someone meet you at the door, but they're all out on a hike. Uh, please sit down. <laughs> I love your show very much, Jackie and I. You watch it all the time. Oh. When are you going to have Peter Lawford back? <laughs> they tell me, do you mind if I ask you some questions? You've been in office now two years, and you've faced 
so many difficult problems. What is the most difficult problem you come up against? Buying presents for the family, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> well, Carolyn's birthday is coming up. Uh, what are you giving her? A sandbox. Oh? Texas. <laughs> Can you tell me, sir, will we have a cut in taxes this year? Yes, we'll have a cut in taxes. We'll cut and we'll just keep cutting and uh, keep cutting and keep cutting till it takes just about every last cent you have. <laughs> what are the chances for Medicare in the United States? Well, of course, the AMA is opposed, but I think they'll come around to our way of thinking, and uh, if they don't, we'll just buy the AMA. <laughs> Do you think your brother Bobby will try for the presidency in 1968? Bobby is uh, ambitious. I hope he doesn't try in 64. <laughs> Sir, could you tell me, uh, what do you think of General de Gaulle's views on the common market? Of course, uh, General de Gaulle's views are not necessarily mine, but I think he'll have to uh, come around if he wants to get the real Mona Lisa back. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, sir, what do you think of uh, Vaughn Meter's album, The First Phantom? Well, I think uh, Mr. Meter sounds more like Teddy than he does me, but uh, so do I. I, uh, <laughs> if I'd have known that album was going to do so well, I'd have made it myself. <laughs> Speaking of Teddy, um, what do you think of your, your brother Teddy's winning the Senate race in Massachusetts? Well, I think it was a good idea. Of course, uh, Teddy had to be senator, and uh, I guess you know why. Well, why is that, sir? Well, he just couldn't go from nowhere to the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> As busy as you are, Mr. President, is uh, some of the burden of your office taken off of your shoulders by Lyndon Johnson. Who? <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. President, you often have... Uh, <laughs> Lyndon Johnson. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. President, you often have musicals in the White House. Um, and are entertained by show business people. Is that true? Yes, they're friends of Jackie's. They drop in, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Previous presidents have indicated some musical talent. One ex-president, uh, Mr. Truman, as everybody knows, plays the piano. That's right. Uh, he's an ex-president. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and on a recent TV show, uh, Mr. Richard Nixon played the piano very well. Yes. He could have been an ex-president, too. <laughs> he does play well. He plays the piano, but these... Uh, Gentlemen, just play. I go a step farther. I uh, oh. play and uh, sing. Yeah. I've been practicing on my, uh, my Andrew Jackson piano. Let me show you. I'd love to hear it. Just because you think you're so pretty, just because you think you're so hot, just because you think you've got bigger, that nobody else has got When you cause me to spend all my money And you laugh and call me old Santa Claus I'm telling you, baby, I'm through with you Just because, just because